Tonight, an overwhelming outpouring of support from Houston's favorite Texan for the family of a Woodlands High School football player who was seriously injured during a playoff game. Right now, a fundraiser is being held for Grant Milton. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Sarah Donchi. Milton underwent emergency brain surgery and he is hospitalized in Waco. His family set up a GoFundMe page to help with expenses and today they received a big donation from Texan star J.J. Watt, $10,000. Channel 2's Brandon Walker joins us live tonight with more Brandon. Yeah, Keith and Sarah, this is a sad story, but the response to this is what warms many a heart. Take a look at the line here at this Chick-fil-A. Lots of people have been here all afternoon to help raise money for Grant Milton. Chick-fil-A also will donate 20% of its sales this afternoon to that GoFundMe account created to help Grant Milton's family with rising medical costs. Here now a picture of Milton. We are told that he remains in a coma this afternoon. The Woodlands High School football star suffered an injury of some sort during a game Saturday in Waco. He remains hospitalized there. This fundraiser will help cover those rising medical costs. Along with Chick-fil-A donating a portion of its sales this afternoon, the community is selling T-shirts which read Milton Strong 21. 21 is Grant's number on the football team. Organizers say being Milton Strong means that Grant's family, his friends, and fellow community members will show support, and all of that will help Grant push through during this trying time. We expect that Grant's going to fight. Uh, and we're going to do our part. We're going to contribute as well. We're going to be, we're going to be strong um, in reaching out to others to ask them for their prayers and for their well wishes. So I think it's an attitude of um, perseverance. Yeah, and it's an attitude possessed by everyone here in line today, hoping that Grant pushes through. I mentioned those T-shirts. They printed 1,000 of them, Sarah and Keith. They're all sold out of them now, but they tell me that they'll have more printed in time Friday that they will be selling again here at this location at Chick-fil-A. We're live tonight in the Woodlands. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.